For the best gameplay capture there is, pick up an Elgato today. Links are in the description. Hey guys, how's it going? Masterbucks here. Welcome to another episode of the Newcastle career mode in FIFA 17. We started off the Premier League uh, much, much better in the last episode than we did at the actual start of it where we dropped like all two poor, all of our points in the first two games. Now we're bumping right back up. We're into seventh after four games played and hopefully we can continue to build. It's a jam-packed September. There's only like uh, two and a bit, oh, like literally like 15 days left until the end of September. Yet we have four I did this last episode. Four games left to go. This game against Leicester City after literally just playing the game two days ago. I might simulate that game because it's at home. I do want to play this game against Wigan in the EFL Cup. There's a game against Sunderland. Maybe might simulate that one because I do also want to play Europa League game. And this team, uh, Dundal Dundalk or whatever it is, they're an Irish team apparently. So yeah. We've also got one more game, Aston Villa, the other club that came up with us in the championship. So might play that game, might play the uh, uh, the Sunderland game. I'm not too sure. But basically, we don't have an, in, uh, an incredible amount of uh, in, like amazing opponents in this episode. Toughest game that we have, to be fair, is probably Leicester City on paper. And I'm honestly just about to simulate it. Let's hope for the best. Hopefully, it's not the wrong decision. Let's hope that we just get, you know, even a point out of this game, I guess I can be happy with. Although, I definitely would like more if possible. A 2-0 win. An injury scared me though, but it turns out it was not to one of my guys. It was to Leicester City. And Tovan picked up a brace, a yellow card for Yedlin and Cyprus. Cool then. So the first game that we do play today will be that EFL Cup game against Wigan. Hopefully progress and hopefully get through to the next round. And again, swapping up the team a little bit here. Dembele is going to start this one. Lopez, Maxi Lopez is starting at centre attack and midfield position. Richie's in, Savet's in. Apart from that, the midfield, the attack's the same. We've got uh, Kieran Clark starting. We've got Josh Risden, one of the pre-contract players, one of the guys that we just got as like backups. Uh, Risden's going to play this game because I figured I should give him a game. I've already played with Jack, played with Barcroft, played with a couple other players as well. Let's give Risden a go, see what he's made of. Darlow in this cup game is going to be our keeper as well. Let's go. We do not have a lot of extremely, uh, extremely impressive or imposing opponents in this episode. Wigan... Uh, the other game I think I might play is probably either between Sunderland and, like, genuinely, I'm forgetting the names. Like, if I was playing Arsenal or Chelsea or a team like that, I wouldn't be forgetting who I was playing, that's for sure. Like, the other, the only Europa League game that we're playing, the only European football game, is against an Irish club for crying out loud. Basically, what I think I'm trying to say is, if I don't win every single game I'm playing, yes, and, uh... That's, I'm, I'm making that claim. If I don't win every one of these games, I will be somewhat disappointed. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's not got the ball there, has he? And a yellow card for Lazar early on. I've made so many tackles. I just can't seem to connect. And even if I do win the ball, I don't win possession. They've had it for a long time now, and it's getting a bit annoying. In comes the delivery eventually. Cleared away once again. And that is actually not bad at all. We could be away here. We absolutely could be. They don't have many back. Lopez. Off to the left. Oh, we're setting this up beautifully. We've got to cross this Lamar. Got to. No! He took an extra touch! Oh, my God! Oh, he didn't even try to fucking head that ball. Thank you so much, Josh Risden. You're not having a good debut. And I've just let overtime go all the way. And head her into an empty net. Oh, my God. And that all starts with Risden. Why doesn't he jump up to head the ball? He waited for it to come down so he could pass it. That is not what I wanted him to do. I saw Overton, uh, Overton running in. He then cuts it off, goes the whole way, crosses it in back post, and Wigan lead. Risden throws it in. Richie off to the left. Little one into the middle there. See if he can spin around Lopez. That is a sensational move. Lopez! Oh, did you see that touch? He got around his defender with so much class and then buries it in the corner. The defender came out. Let's see how good it looks on this replay. Oh, all right. Well, not on, on that angle, it doesn't look all too amazing. And I don't think we're going to get another look at it. I thought it looked fucking sensational. I thought he did like a special flick. Maybe it was just a simple turn, but it's enough. And that's that then. Half time. Oh, very annoying to have conceded. But I tell you what, we fought hard. We got the goal back. And now we have an entire half to try to find a winner. And Will Ann Cyprin is in. You know what? I'm going to try to go for something I've been, I've been practicing a fair bit. I have to get... Almost 100% power, but just underneath it. I don't have the camera on for this, but whatever. Uh, it's got to be more than that. Yeah, and even then, it's uh, it's got to be like just before you completely max out your shot. And even then, it went a little bit off to the right. It, it seems like it was a miss hit. Oh, it stayed in. How fortunate. Aaron's right place, right time to stop that. Can't really cross to anyone here, but I'm going to try it anyway. Decent delivery. Not there yet. Shelby. Blocked. Not falling to any of my players. It's just banging around the box right now, but it's eventually cleared. Right up the middle. Ah, oh, it's a risky pass. It didn't work out. Ball's in the middle now. Hold him off. Tackle. Lascelles. 
Again, we don't get the ball back, but finally, yes, there we go. Cyprin into the middle. And again, that is some ball, Dembele. Get on your bike, son, and run. Run like you've never run before. You can't get past fucking anyone. And there you go. Extra time. That should have been that. Dembele has to be able to outpace the fucking centre back there. Oh, for God's sake. And now I've got to try to do this with 10 men as well. This game, I thought it was just going to be a walk in the park. I thought the whole episode was going to be. But then again, it feels like it feels like games that we were playing in the first... Like the games against Swansea and Manchester United. The ridiculously tough games at the moment. Little one there. Off to the left. Cyprin still passing it around the edges of the box. They don't have that many back here. Look off to the right one more time. Maybe a cross. Oh, that's not what I was hoping for, but we'll get it. We'll work with it. So, it's a beautiful finish, bottom right-hand corner. And John Joe Shelby has put us in front. Irons. Oh, stops and drags it back. No, pass it one more time, please. They're just running right at us now. I'm not surprised because they really do need the possession, but damn. I didn't say a word through that. I just was fucking waiting for it to go in. But thankfully, it never did. And they've got no one back. It's time to get Dembele all the way up at the halfway line. Clear it if you can. Will Griggs actually allowed to take it fucking down and shoot? I'm holding down A and R, B. No one runs to him. How do they always... How are they always able to actually chest it down, take it down to the ground, have so much space every time? Only a few minutes to stop his time. They're just whipping it in right now. Another lost header. Not surprised. You could count them and never get one. Aaron's, that's a heavy chest. That's that, though. 2-1 win. We hang on. We find a way. We score an extra time. And then the whole second half was just fucking just holding off Wigan that entire time, trying to keep them out as long as possible. There was that massive goal mouth scramble that somehow did not end up in the back of it. I can't believe it. But we found a way. I thought it was going to be straightforward. It was not. It's been another grind. And something tells me the rest of the episode is going to be like that as well. Hopefully not. Though. Next game, though, that we have in the Premier League against Sunderland. I don't know if I want to play this or not. We've had a big enough break, I suppose. I might consider it. But either way, uh, yeah, that game and that... Yeah, no, I think I'm good. I guess, I suppose, I might be able to play the Sunderland game. I mean, yeah, fuck it. It, it, it is only a time weird derby. So, all right then. Let's do it. Time weird derby. First one of the season. Did some of you actually think I wasn't going to play the time with Derby? Come on, mate. It's Sunderland versus Newcastle. The first game of the season is being played at the Stadium of Shite. And I'm putting the best team out there, of course. Cyprus a bit tired. Lascelles a bit tired. I might look to rotate them at some point. But Saar's going to be uh, left back for the start of this game because he can play left back. I wanted to see what he's like there. And so we'll give him a game. Krull's back in goalkeeping position. And yeah, that's it. Starting 11 team. Let's go get it. Come on. As you can see, Newcastle knocking on the door of the top four early days, only five games into the Premier League. And Sunderland, nowhere to be seen in that top ten at all. The Sunderland team, let's have a look. After a season, have they made many changes? We have got... Brian Ovier. No, that's basically their team right now, isn't it, still? Even on the bench, let's see, any changes? Uh, no, I seriously cannot spot a single one. Five at the back formation, once again, there's just too many fucking teams in this game that have five at the back. And of course, the fucking scum would have it as well. Bloody hell. Through the middle, Tobin's going to run at him. Off to the left, a little ball squeezed into there. It's beautiful. It's Lamar. One goal. Oh, it's one nil already. Lamar, it was uh, flicked. I think the, key, uh, the defender we were trying to beat got a little something on it, but not enough. And Lamar with his first goal against Newcastle. Way to make yourself pretty popular with the Toon Army. It's, of course, against Sunderland. What a goal. That's a very good strike in the bottom corner, too. There you go, boys. First goal, Thomas Lamar with it. Extremely good start. And away we go again. Jose Perez. Lamar's in again. He's looking to do bits today. Lovely little move. He's still going. He's down in the box. He's won a penalty for Newcastle now. This is an incredible start. Thomas Lamar is absolutely slaying the Mackins right now. His dribbling is on point. He actually just kicks the ball away after making another cha uh, change of direction to get past Gilabodji. Ayose Perez steps up for it. Who's the best penalty taker in the team? You know, we don't really have many pe good penalty takers. I'm going to get Kasper Dolberg to take it just because. Come on. We're going to go for the top left-hand corner, please, mate. Bang. This keeper has saved it. The last two times I've gone and done a penalty shootout, the keeper has saved it, I think. Maybe even the last three. And this... It's a pretty decent penalty. Run's been made. Nah, no, not really who I needed it to go to there. But Yedlin can still shoot and he can't score. Oh my god, Kirchhoff. That's... Wow. Alright, then from this angle, it looked like he was almost trying to bang it in his own net. Tackle by Saar. 
He's been sensational at the left back position. I've got to tell you. I th I swear I might start him at left back a little more often. I know that I uh, I know that he's a centre back and that he should play at centre back. But goddamn, he's doing the job at left back. I don't know what he's like going up forward, attacking as a left back. That's also pretty important to being a full back. But man, he's doing a job. That man's been sensational as well. Honestly, we should have scored that penalty. If if it's going in the side netting, it's a good penalty no matter where it is. It's unfortunate that we didn't score. Is that a free kick? It is. You know, I'll take the free kick if you want it. Oh my god. How? Is there a button? Please tell me in the comments. Is there a button to say, no, fuck off the advantage. I want the free kick. Because I want to take that instead of just hoping that they tackle you. When they had to do it. Mm, it's okay. At least we're getting the possession back. Through the middle there. One, two, play. Dolberg, a little back heel. Cyprin. Back into Cyprin. Could be the moment. Oh my god. Would you stop getting it straight to fucking Pickford? Good work. Come on. They're exposed now. Yedlin. I oh, still don't think I can get it to him. Oh, but we work this brilliantly, don't we? It's Lopez. That is that. That is the game. It's one. It's three points for Newcastle. We've beaten Sunderland. 2-0 win. Huge result here. Could still potentially get even better. Yedlin providing the assist as well makes it even sweeter. Maxi Lopez just on the ground. Finishes it in the bottom left-hand corner. And now take a look at this. They've got everyone up for it. Even their goalkeeper is up for it. That's incredible. Can we clear it away? Not exactly. Katamol, can we tackle him, please? We need to immediately. And we do. There it is. Aaron's get on running forward, mate. Do it. Come on. Are we going to take the pop from distance here? This should be it. Lopez has put that wide. Fuck off. Come on, man. That's an embarrassment. And that is that then. It should have been three. It fucking should have. I could have ran a little bit further. That is the thing, though. I was hoping to go for the long bomb, though. And... I just was expecting him to at least get it on target. Like, for fuck's sake. I didn't even feel like I'd put that much power into it either. But whatever. 2-0. It would have been sweet if it was 3. But we will take a 2-0 win against Sunderland. And the first, uh, first time we're Derby, the bragging rights go to Newcastle. And even though I'm happy to have won the game 2-0, don't, I don't really think it reflects how much of a domination that was. We did not let Sunderland do anything in the game. Even right up until the last few minutes where they actually started getting a lot more of the ball and they were a lot more, um, I don't know, there was, there was a lot more urgency about them. Even then, really were never threatening and it's sensational. It's absolutely sensational. So here's what I've got then for you. Look at this team. We've got Armstrong, we've got Diame, Goufran's back, Barcroft playing, starting as well. Ryan Jack and Winks are the centre midfielders or centre uh, center defensive midfielders. Hydara, Hanley, Clark and Anita are my back four. Darlo goes in goal. This is going to be crazy. It's a town park. As well. I mean, gee, that's like the lowest attendance. It's insane. This is going to be dope. I, this is going to be just an awesome, like, after playing in, like, the big, huge, massive stadiums, we're going to be playing against an Irish side. I can chill. I can put, like, my third team out there. It's going to be crazy, and it'd be very bad if we did not win. That is borderline if we did not win. But who knows? They could be quite decent. Let's find out. I guess all I know about this team is that they are at least a quality Irish side. I know that I know that's not really saying much, but they have to be if they've made it all the way to the Euros. I don't know if they would have had to have won the league, but still. I mean, just look at those names and please tell me honestly if you know any of them. Because seriously, I don't think I do. I'm genuinely looking. I don't think I know anybody. But we pretty much have matching formations as well. I think the players, though, will probably... Uh, one side may outclass the other one. Anita, good work. Good ball through. And I'll tell you what, it's only like 2v... 2v freaking 3 here. We've got to get this one, surely. Oh my god, no. That's just... Nah, it's just not happened. The running's just sort of stopped. Oh, referee. That's disgusting. Please. And a yellow card. Spinning. Beautiful. He's onside here, Diame. Hopefully. Holding him up. Pass in the middle. Maybe another one off to the right. Get by him, Barcroft. Tight angle here. Saved, but right into the path of Hydara. There we go. Sometimes, you just got to take shots. The keeper will spill it, and hopefully it'll fall into the path of one of your players. And it's, uh, and it's Hydara that gets it. Oh, there's a foul in there, apparently. No good. Hanley, yellow card. He's already on a yellow card. You are fucking kidding me. That is the softest shit I've ever seen. Now, we're going to give him a chance, aren't we? There is no fucking way that is he... No. That is absolutely soft. I've gone I've gone in for a slide tackle. I thought I won the ball initially. Apparently not. I need to see how this is a yellow card. Oh, I don't know if there was some sort of a delay, but if I do that slide tackle half a second earlier, it looks quite legitimate. After that, it looks like I've gone in for a tackle after he's kicked it. Maybe that's the reason why I've gotten a yellow, but there's no fucking way. 
And just clear it, please. Jack, no. I'm not controlling you, Jack. For fuck's sake, mate. Come on. So, I'm now going to make a change. Kurt is good. The Aussie is going to have to come in. Modiame is going to be sacrificed. So that way we keep our back four. Oh my god! Come on! These cunts are getting away with too much now. You've got to start bringing out the cards. You're going to send my guy off for that soft shit. You have to start getting these cards out. And you know what? I want to see if I can pull the trigger from distance with this man. Nicholas Barkroth! Ooh, fair effort, but still saved. I need to tackle. This is not good. We're going through this again. More tackles without being able to get the ball. Finally, a tackle, but it's only when it goes out for a corner. You see what's happening here. They're keeping. No one's even coming up for it. They've got two defenders back. I, I, I swear I, I should be hanging on here, but fuck it, I really want to get another goal. And that's that then. It is just going to be a 1-0 win in the end. It's my third team out there. It's clearly a better side than what they've got out there either way. But man, I'm just... Oh, as my fucking twin brother walks off, which is sensational. I oh, fucking... Oh, it's just, again, a bit of an annoying game there. I suppose it's legendary difficulty. I should know. It doesn't matter who the team is I'm going to face. It's always going to be somewhat of a challenge. Never a real walk in the park. Maybe at times, but... Nah, with that third team, even against the shite old fucking Irish club that I've never heard of before, even then it is still difficult. It's just sometimes tricky to fucking score more than anything. Sometimes, like, in that game, I was under absolutely no threat, never going to concede unless something freakish happened. They had one shot for the whole game in the full-time stats, so that should probably tell you. Either way, though, next game that we have, probably going to see this. It's a home game against Aston Villa, not one of the stronger uh, opponents in the league, so I feel pretty comfortable with simulating this game. And again, the second team, I'm putting it out there. Just another rest, really, for my starting 11 guys. Let's hope for the best, though. Is it going to be enough? Oh, no, it's not. Nicholas Barcroft missing a penalty. And McCormack, Ross McCormack scoring. A 1-0 loss. That is not what we wanted. I really should have had the fucking uh, first team out there. I don't know why I didn't. I think I assumed that I would have had the first team up there. I saw that it was actually the second team that I had selected and still went, ah, oh, bugger it. We can throw the reserves out there. Hopefully, it'll be good enough. Even at home, no. But let me fix that right now, okay? That's not going to happen again. Come on, advancing forward again. Whatever the next game is, is probably where we're going to leave it. Do a little bit more play training just to finish up the episode. Those still giving it to Dolberg, still giving it to what? Lopez, Saar, and Haidara. And Saar's gone up to a 77. Well, that will be the first game in the next episode. Then Arsenal versus Newcastle away at the Emirates. We're fifth, they're sixth. We are tied on points right now. It is just goal difference that has us above them. So we will see how that game goes. And we'll see how the uh, table shapes up after that. Middlesbrough right now doing pretty well. They're in third. Currently top of the table is Manchester City. They're undefeated with five wins and two draws. And let's see, anyone else that's really struggling that we should be surprised about? Not necessarily. Leicester in the relegation zone. But yeah, what can you say about that? Liverpool 13th. Turns out that game against Arsenal in the Premier League isn't the only time we're playing Arsenal in October. We play them again about a week or two later in the EFL Cup round of 16. So there you have it, guys. Yet another episode done. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, of course. And before we let you go, it is time for you to guess the current or former Newcastle United player. Here is the guy that you have to try to guess. If you know who it is, leave him in the comment section down below. And if you do get him correct, you might get featured in the next episode. And so until the next episode, guys, my name is Master Bucks. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a good one.